Finish it. Nothing personal. I tell my men who share the sentiment. They'll find you, and they will make you pay for killing Ron and Son. What are you talking about? I'm not here to kill anybody. My sources were clear. Michael Thornton has come to Taipei to assassinate President Son. Funny, my sources made it pretty clear you were here to kill him. Then your sources are mistaken. If you're not the assassin. Anybody. I tried to warn him. I sent him everything I had in the assassination attempt. Mike, emergency frequencies are reporting riots breaking out. They're getting ugly. Additional security forces are en route. Of course they are. God forbid I get five minutes to figure this thing out. Come on, Dan. You're coming with me until we get to the bottom of this. Can I ask a dumb question? Yes. What is your second one? Why didn't you try to kill a president's son? Why would I kill a man who has been like a father to me? Deep seated Oedipus complex? I was working for him. You're a double agent? For how long? All my life. I won't pry then. That is appreciated, Thornton. We're clear. Mina, I'm patching Dang to our connection. Can you give us an update? Reports are still sketchy, but the news is saying Sun survived the attempt. He was wearing a bulletproof vest thanks to a tip from an anonymous source. He survived? I'm glad the information I passed him did some good at least. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? I still feel a little blah, but I really wanted to play something because I've been bored out of my mind the past couple days. So I wanted to see if I could beat Dang, and I kicked his ass. I don't know what the hell happened there. I think, uh, <clears throat> well, I replayed the level, and I took a lot more first aid packs, so I wasn't hurt going into the fight. And uh, also I managed to hurt him during that first bit when he's running around. I hurt him really bad, actually, so... Excuse me. So, wow. Um, I genuinely was not expecting that. That Dang is a good guy. And someone else shot the president. So, let's see what happens, shall we? something I don't know. So this VCI comes to me and he says to me, Steve, I got a proposition for you. I always figured VCI as the offer you can't refuse types. So after I pop three of his fingers off for calling me Steve, I say, and what proposition might that be, my good man? Heck, oh, Steve. This guy says to me, oh God, please don't kill me. I just came here to offer you five million dollars to give Michael Thornton up as Ronald Sun's assassin. Tell me you didn't. Not gonna lie, buddy. I was really tempted for a minute there. But I kinda like you, so I told him to piss off. Then I set him on fire to make sure he got the point. Damn it, Steve. I imagine that sends a message pretty loud and clear. I figured his cronies would probably try and find somebody less scrupulous than myself. So I went ahead and called the news stations. Should keep them off your back for a while. I appreciate that. Hey, no problem, buddy. I wanna lay low for a while, but I'll be in touch. Be seeing you, Mike. Searching for a man called Wen Shu in connection with the attack. Shu. Government sources have told INN that Wen Shu is a Taiwanese national with no previous criminal record. Huh. The nature of his involvement. 
involvement remains to be seen. I think we came across him. That should buy me a little time to get out of Taipei. Better get moving. Interesting. We made lots of friends in Taiwan. Oh, goodness. Busy playing with my Christmas games. And but so this is the result of your efforts in Taipei. Chaos in the streets. An assassination attempt against the president of Taiwan. Well done. There was going to be unrest no matter what I did. Just an attempted assassination would be enough to create a panic. But with Sung alive, there's at least a chance of reining it in. Now you're beginning to understand. I don't like this guy still. I admit, the lack of an identified assassin might slow things down, but the people already believe the assassin was a Chinese agent. Omen Deng's escape won't stop the push for independence from growing stronger. You managed to escape Taipei undetected, largely because of an anonymous tip identifying a man called Wen Shu as the attempted assassin. Stephen Heck's work, I trust? He may be a little bit crazy, but he came through. Nah. You have a knack for engendering trust. A useful skill for an intelligence agent. Must be my winning personality. That's all you cared about, then? Destabilizing Taipei? You should pay more attention to global politics, Agent Thornton. If Taipei pushes for independence, the People's Republic will prepare for war. If China prepares for war, so does the U.S. And how Beck makes a fortune off the new Cold War. If there's one thing better for business than a war, it's a Cold War. Arms race for those not born in the 80s. You won't bother us because we got a bigger stick than you. Oh yeah? Well, we'll just go get a bigger stick. Yeah. I also put more points in pistols, which seem to help during the mission. Excuse me, still a little difficult to breathe. Oh, what do I want? I really, really like to go ahead and get assault rifle as high up as I can get it, because I end up using it a lot. But I'm also really easy to see. I need more stealth. I think we'll just save the rest of it. I don't need overclock. Uh, is this something that makes my... Actually, I do want that. Makes my healing better since I've got a lot more hit points than I used to. Okay, that's good. The hell am I still in Taipei for? Hmm. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. You mean a rope way to score. I think she custom framed it just for me. Oh, I, nice. Uh, I guess Mina sent me my awards Agent for Agent Darcy it. sent me this for Ace it's in the Mushroom course. Club. He misspelled my name. Thornton. Darcy's a prick. Eh. And then Parker's just over here. There's a note from Parker here. The agency made me give this to you. <sighs> what a guy. Parker's awesome. I hope he's a good guy. He just seems too much like a stuffy prick to be a bad guy. Okay. Center and receiver are both British MI6. I wonder how long, if ever, it will take public learning. How long is it? Uh huh. Reporter lady still in Taipei. Makes you wonder why they didn't aim for the head the first time. Mm. Riots are out of control. Shutting down sections of the city. Curfew. <coughs> 30 people dead today. Damn. Uh, found more on Deus Voot. used to work for Deuce Foot. Uh, <laughs> let's see, he's 
a perfect record of costs, kills, and numeric consequences of his work. You should see the spreadsheet where it graphs the frequency of state-funded assassination with the rise of voter turnout. Creepy stuff. It's awesome. <clears throat> okay, cool. And holy crap, do we have a lot of money. We got $80,000. I could buy the best pistol there is. It's not better than mine right now. Of course, mine's modded out. Core rounds. That's a pisser. Wow. Bunches of goodies. Yeah, we we'll need some more assault rifle rounds. <coughs> there we go. Reflex sight. Accuracy. Accuracy. Stability goes down. Damage go up. <laughs> oh well. That's kind of expensive. I'd rather get more armor before I get something like that. Can't get the advanced utility armor yet. This will give me more stealth. <coughs> this is a little worse than what I have. Utility armor. Oh, compared to my SWAT utility armor. Hmm. That's crap. That's pretty crap. I, really, I should probably save up for that, but I've got all this money. <coughs> I think I'm going to buy the stealth. Slightly improves cooldown rates. Ooh, lowers endurance. Strike damage, damage resistance. Ooh, that's expensive. Improves cooldown rates. Buy that. <coughs> damage resistance. Okay, that looks good. Gadgets. Need more first aid kits. It's nice having a lot of money to play with. Flashbangs, eh, yeah, sure. Pistol upgrades? No, I have all the pistol upgrades. Okay, I think I'm good for now until I can get some more armor. Oh, goodness. Let's go look at my big box of toys. Oops. Okay, let's. Oh, my, my Middle Eastern attire. of stuff. Maybe we can sell some of this. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Tell me what the stats do. Oh, it says on the bottom. Uh, damage resistance and reduces stealth. No. I don't have any damage reduction right now. Sight range is a maybe. Uh, better version of that. Bonuses to lock picks. 
Lots more ammunition, ability cooldown rates, yeah, I want that. And then we'll go ahead and go with the digital camouflage. Yeah, I like that. And then you... Did we get anything for you? Oh, the ultralight barrel, blah. Sucks. This place didn't have a that place for me to buy a magazine extender for this one. That's a pisser. Yeah, pistol laser sight. Ooh. Accuracy recoil. Can oh, because I have the silencer right now, though. Deuce Volt, since we were just learning about that. <coughs> okay. And away we go! On my little race rocket. I think for Rome we're gonna need a cheesy mustache. This operation lasts a while. I could get used to this. All right, what do we got? From the information Shahid gave us, it's not clear what the link is between Halbeck and Al Samad in Rome, but it does list the local Al Samad cell leader, a Jibril El Bara. <coughs> but if there's a problem, just say it. I'm used to it by now. There's a CIA listening post here in Rome, and it's pretty well staffed. They're definitely running a search on you. Huh. <sighs> And Al Samad, it looks like. What's their chance of tracking us down? I don't know. You could try to stay below the radar. But that doesn't really seem to be your strong suit. Any chance of keeping an eye on them? Or bugging the system? Tapping into their network? It's possible. But you need to slip in there without being detected. So we'll have to be extra covert when carrying out this covert op. Which will make finding the Al Samad cell even harder. There may be another way to get information we need on Al Samad and Halbeck. It looks like there's an NSA echelon listening post in Rome. You might be able to access that and use their database to do our hunting for us. <laughs> it looks like... it's in a gelato shop. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. So those are my options? Disarm the listening post, tap into the NSA computer, or make a straight run for Albara? What about Halbeck? What's their tie here? There's nothing about it in Shahid's records. So I did a check of Halbeck employees and ex-employees in Rome. One recent arrival came to the top that I think is worth looking into. Conrad Marburg. Hmm. Someone has to. Where can I find him? That's just it. I don't have much on him, other than he took a commercial flight into Rome. That's why he popped up on the search. All right. So what's Marburg's tie to Halbeck? He doesn't have one. At least as of a year ago. What? He was actually chief of security, but then apparently transferred to working as a contractor for the... Veteran Combat Initiative. Hey, they're mercenaries. Uh, Ex-American military, right? Right. They're not too discriminating about the contract, as long as a firefight is involved. Mm. 
Alright. You got a picture of Marburg? Sending it to your does not now. sound like a happy guy. This dossier doesn't have much on him. He's and some ugly. of the early details seem sketchy to me. Mike, what's wrong? Something tells me Marburg's our real problem. <laughs> but let's figure out the Al Samad connection first. They're a little more knee jerk than Halbeck. Do you think Shahid will help? I'm certain, especially if Halbeck's involved. I'll contact him, see what I can find out about Elbara. Okay. Well, good. Uh, anything on the TV? Tragedy was averted today when an assassination attempt on Taiwanese President Ronald Sun proved nope. unsuccessful. You need a new disguise. There we go. <laughs> Let's see. Stylized. We need a Van Dyke, but I don't think we're gonna be able to get that. <coughs> Groomed beard could work. Yeah, we'll go with that. And hat. I said hat. I sell info. <laughs> nope. Boy, we got a bunch of money again, though. your uh, stealth. That's not bad. <coughs> that stuff I sold. Okay, well, I sold a bunch of stuff. Let's 
go uh, take care of that CIA listening post. off the alarm for free. Okay. Feels like spring already here. It's weird. It's so nice out. <laughs> I'm in. Seems pretty quiet. It is a listening post. The CIA's upstairs, and they probably have a guard in the lobby, so keep an eye out. Will do. Going to take a quick look around. Oh, I should have bought some tank rounds. I probably shouldn't kill these guys. <laughs> ah, we'll see what we can do with this. That's upstairs, isn't it? I kinda like this armor. It looks neat. Big bag of money. You can always use more big bags of money. Mike, careful. They probably have a guard in the lobby. I can hear him. He must be right outside. No way am I getting past him without him spotting me. Got the video feed. I can't hear him. Takes care of him. Anybody else? Non-lethal takedown. It looks like the third floor camera is being run by a dummy console on the second floor. If you can find it, you can loop the feed and sneak past. That sounds good. Palbeck data. Nice. Anybody in here? Hello? Nope. Looks okay. Assault rifle ammo. Hoping to not use my assault rifle on this mission. There's so many objectives. <clears throat> Deactivate the cameras, or is this the loop back? Install back door. Uh, been a while. Ah, about five ocean. And then where do you go? There you are. Accessing the database <laughs> and downloading the software. All right. Listening in on the listening post. Gotta love this job. <laughs> two two. Oops. Where are you at? There you are. Ah, damn it! It moved. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> 